acronym SAMS stand for? What does the acronym SAM stand for? Text me your answer. All right, let's see what we got. Sentence answer mechanics structure. Sentence answer mechanics support. Sentence answers mechanics support. Okay, overwhelmingly, we do have sentence answer mechanics support, and that is exactly what it stands for. Very good. Today's objective, guys, in today's lesson, we are going to review the SAMS writing method. Your group is going to be allowed to choose a prompt. And when I say choose, I mean that you will choose it for today. And then it will also be the prompt that I provide for you on your test. So you are essentially choosing your own test question. Okay? You're going to analyze that prompt and then you're going to annotate the Beast of Loch Ness to find the textual evidence that you're going to need to answer it. You're then going to be challenged to compose a constructive response that is rich with textual evidence. You're going to be doing that as a group. Finally, as our groups are going to share out and we're going to evaluate the responses using a text talk so that we can all get constructive feedback and make sure that our answers are perfected before we actually get to our exam. All right, in case you forgot, S stands for sentences, but more than that, I want you to make sure today as you're writing that your sentences are complete and that they are conversational. Make sure that you read your answer out loud to see if it sounds natural and is it appropriate for the audience. Now, if the audience is not stated, if they don't say you are writing this for your classmates or you're writing this for a local newspaper, who would you assume that you're writing the answer for? Your teacher. Your teacher. Right? Very good. Okay, A stands for answer. Answer the question that the test asks. I know that sounds easy, but sometimes those prompts are worded differently than we're used to. They're worded with academic language, and we've been working on that all year long. But make sure that you number the parts of the question so that you know that you are answering all parts of the question. <coughs> Make sure that you read the prompt a few times to know what you were being asked to do. M stands for mechanics. Punctuation, capitalization, spelling, grammar, and usage. You should be able to write without mistakes. And then support. This is the big one that we are working on today. Remember to support your answers with details from the selection. If you take them word for word from the selection, what are you also going to include? Raise your hands. See, Jaden, you're going to have quotation marks. Very good. Um, say that you paraphrase and you put it in your own words. That's okay, but then what do you need to state? I knew this because. I knew this because, and also what? In the text it says. In the text it says, or another way to say it, according to the text. <coughs> according to the text. Very good. favorite thing in the world, some of you. Alright, we're going to sing all about that proof just so that we remember our song that we wrote. <coughs> Who wants to start? Alright, Red. Because you know I'm all about that proof, about that proof. No assumptions, all about that proof, about that proof. No assumptions, all about that proof. About that proof, no assumptions. I'm all about that proof. About that proof, yeah. <laughs> Writing is pretty tough, but I'm gonna see it through. Check my mechanics, mechanics, like I'm supposed to do. Cause I got that answer that all the teachers praise, and all the right proof in all the right places. We read some articles, work in that information. Non-fiction stuff is real, call it the new sensation. If you've got that answer, answer, just write it up. With proof, it will be perfect from the bottom to the top. Yeah, my teacher once told me opinions are like armpits. She says if you can prove it, then no one will pitch a fit. You know writing is tough, but I'll give it all I am. I'll get an advanced if I simply follow Sam's. 
Because you know I'm all about that proof, about that proof. No assumptions, all about that proof, about that proof. No assumptions, I'm all about that proof, about that proof. No assumptions, I'm all about that proof, about that proof. Hey, hey that was pretty good. Make sure that you have today yellow highlighters because we're going to do claims and evidence today. That is our key focus, claims and evidence. Okay, I'm going to hand each group leader a project folder. Group leaders. Table one. Table seven. You three, how are you going to start it? Okay, you're going to change it into a statement. Excellent idea. Do you have all your evidence? finish with the text talk where we share our answers so you'll need to choose someone to read your answer aloud and then we will text talk about them text talk time okay group leaders are whichever of you is the chosen one we're going to share your group's response and then anyone Anyone from any other group may then add or argue to that response. Now, the purpose of this is not to argue with someone to degrade them, but to rather help them, to give them constructive criticism to build a better response. Okay, so if you have a suggestion, maybe something like, we saw that piece of evidence too, but we decided to use this one because we felt it had a stronger argument. That's the kind of criticism that we're looking for here. Not, we completely disagree, and then not backing it up at all, okay? So let's remember the purpose of our text talk is to make people better. Our table of choice was Kristen Lewis writes that although we've already explained most of our world, something in us still yearns for magical mystery, which details from the beast of life to support this idea. We wrote, Christian Lewis writes that something in a still year is magic and mystery. Details from the piece of Lachlan support this idea by saying that the human imagination is powerful. The power of belief is very strong. Finally, and is an imagination and belief that have led to the human body's great scientific achievements. And remember, the human imagination is powerful. Very good. Does anyone have anything to add to that or something that you thought they could have done differently? What type of introduction did y'all use, Rhett? The question. You the restated statement. the question as a statement? You changed the question. To the and then what type of conclusion <coughs> did you use? The second sentence we moved and kind of just um, changed it a little bit, but made it a conclusion. Okay. Anybody have anything? You want to go next, Jamie? Okay, come on. the question, what is Warren Tartus's mm -hmm. attitude toward cryptozoology? Explain your answer using details from the text. You said Warren Tartus's attitude toward, cri toward cryptozoology is negative. I know this because in the text it says to most people, cryptozoology means more like fantasy than real science, and it is usually not in scientific circles. Okay. Very good use of a quote there and saying that it's mocked in scientific circles that came straight from the selection. You'd like to argue something? I would like to argue because it says to most people, which means to everyone else. And Paul uh, Parker said, however, respected scientists who are convinced they're still astonishing, others of animal species on Earth. She says respected scientists. 
Okay, so how did you guys balance that? I know when we were walking around, y'all had looked at that line and tried to determine how much weight it carried. Rachel? It, it said that some of them were respected, but it said that most people thought they were... Uh, they seem mocked and more like they didn't see the real side. Okay, very good. So you decided that you would take a side and you would stick to it rather than have her <coughs> playing, like sitting on both sides of the fence, right? Because it says that most people won't go just the Okay. So we went with majority. You went with the majority. Okay. Did you guys answer that question? We went with what Orrin Park is felt, not with, with the majority felt. Okay, well let's hear what you guys had to say in response. A cryptozoologist, scientist that studies hidden animal life. With evidence from the text, you can infer that Lawrence Harper's attitude toward cryptozoologists is a very respectful attitude. In the text, she writes, cryptozoologists are respected scientists. She explains that to most people, cryptozoology is a joke. However, she respects the hardworking scientists. Okay. You guys did an excellent job today. You will be able to use these constructive responses on this exam, but I think that if I gave you a completely different question at this point, I think that you would all do an excellent job in formulating one because you've, you've practiced perfectly and you're doing well. But I will reward you with letting you use it. Okay, expressions out. Let's wrap this up. Okay, exit ticket. Text me and tell me what you've learned today. Why is evidence important in a constructive response? about 20 seconds to finish up and send me your answer. Evidence is important because without it, opinions would not matter. Evidence is important in a constructive response because it's still cutting me off on a couple of days. So you can back it up. We can do it like this too.